Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Hollow, and today we're talking about New Horizons' freshest face on the block, Red, and his shady art business because, you know, he's totally 100% trustworthy and will sell you genuine art. It's just that, you know, some art is more genuine than other art. Other than the decoration of your own home, you can actually donate art to the new art wing in the museum. However, you'll need the real, genuine art, otherwise Blathers just ain't interested in your fake-ass garbage. So, I put together this guide to help you avoid buying fake and false forged art from that fiend, Red. To unlock Red and his shop, you're going to need to do a few things first, so let's just run through that. Once you've reached enough progress with the museum and you've donated a bunch of things, you can talk to Blathers and he'll inquire about adding a new art wing. Once you've had this conversation, you'll need to wait a full day to progress again. Supposedly, it's about 24 hours after you have the conversation with Blathers, but just go to the next day reset either way. Red will show up the next day wandering your island, which will be mentioned by Isabel during the daily announcement. Once the announcements are done, go find him. He'll be near enough to the town square. After speaking with Red and trying not to get swindled and buying your first piece of art, you'll need to take that to Blathers. And that will be the first art piece in the new wing once Blathers has it. And as soon as he gets it, he'll let you know he's going to begin construction of that new art wing, which actually takes two days. The first day after handing in the art will be the construction day, and then the day after that will be the release and opening of the new art wing. Just like the other wings of the museum, it's very pretty and cool and a really nice setup, but it's empty as hell because you just opened it. So go speak with Red after this and he'll let you know that he wants to stay. He's going to show up now and then. From here, Red's treasure trawler ship will appear on your island from time to time every few days, and and you can find it located on the north side at the secret beach past the cliffs. Inside his shop we find a nice selection of art from paintings, furniture and statues. However, do note you can only purchase one piece of art per day and some of these can be fake forged art so you need to check each and everything that you're thinking about buying and look for those subtle differences between the original art pieces or the forged pieces. Now fortunately for us and thankfully so I can make this guide, real and forged art is not actually random and when you know what you're looking for it's not actually that bad. Sometimes the forged version of the art is ridiculous and silly and very obvious but other times it can be quite subtle in its differences and much harder. If you want to give it a fair go just pull up the original art piece and try to spot any differences between the art that Red's showing and obviously the original. But if you don't want to even use your brain, don't worry, here's a full guide on all the art currently. Let's start with the first one that was in my shop, which was the Academic Painting. This one's super easy because it has a large stain at the top right if it's fake. The original is as pristine as it can be, really. No stains on that one. Next, we have the Amazing Painting. This is another easy one. You can see the man wearing black at the front center of the piece. He's wearing a black hat as well in the real painting and in the fake amazing painting he's missing that hat. Next up we have the basic painting. I think this is another obvious one because in the fake painting they have a very strong fringe or bang hairline at the front. It's very very slick and of course in the real one it's more realistic and well you know they didn't have great hairstyles back then I guess. For our next one we have the calm painting and I'm very happy to say with this one there isn't a fake one or a forged one which is the same for a calm common painting as well. We have these farmers here in this field. There isn't a fake one. You're safe to buy this one. For the detail painting, we have very obvious differences here. On this plant in the background, we have a bunch of berries. In the real detail painting, they're blue. And in the fake forged version, they're purple. So avoid that purple. Next up, we have the dynamic painting. Another great one because there isn't a fake one. If you see a dynamic painting in the shop, just buy it because there isn't a fake one. Now for a brilliant one, uh, we have the famous painting. And I love the fake version of this one. She is killing it with them brows, girl. Damn, her makeup on point. So just check her brows before you buy. Once again, we have another one that there is no fake. It's the flowery painting. There is no fake version of this flower painting. So just buy it. Great. Luckily for our next one as well, the glowing painting, there's also not a fake one. So if you see a glowing painting, just buy it up. Here's one that I imagine will catch a lot of people out. The graceful painting. It is very similar whether it's real or fake. The difference here though is the fake version is quite zoomed in. She takes up the entire canvas, it feels like, where the real one is much smaller. Now let's talk jolly painting. Another subtle one, I'm afraid. There is a sort of weed that's poking out of the front side of the uh, character. 
just uh, right below the neckline and in the fake version that is missing so you need to look for that weed poking out of the chest another great one for us moody painting this one is real there is no fake one so great for the moving painting which is one that i had to check uh, today in my store uh, the fake version has no trees at the top right whereas the real one has a whole sort of foresty thing going on on the right side and that's totally missing the fake version it's just barren for the mysterious painting hell yeah dude there isn't a fake one buy it up and again nice painting there is no fake one buy him uh, i guess he's on a flute buy this flute player boy boom again the perfect painting with these fruit here and these balls and on this uh, cloth there is no fake version buy this one up damn dude we're just killing it proper painting there is no fake version so this lady here at this table there is not a fake version by this one too for the quaint painting this is a very subtle one i think um the mug that she's pouring here where she's transferring this water is quite realistic in the real one go figure where only a small sort of trickle is coming out of the uh, picture that she's holding whereas in the fake version she's got like a fountain in there man it's just like a waterfall coming out of that thing if nothing else i, f I love this painting dude the scary painting it's not very scary, but it is hilarious. Look at this dude's face, man. In the fake version, he looks kind of scared because of his eyebrows, which are actually different to the original. They're a bit more, you know, poised and aggressive and angry as they really should be. In the fake version, they're just totally upside down. For the scenic painting, we have a fairly subtle one as well, but I don't know. I feel like a lot of you are going to spot this one. Uh, there's actually, at the front, only one dude walking these dogs in the fake version, whereas in the real version, there's three of them coming down this hill with actually more dogs as well. But I guess if you're not directly looking at it, you might miss it. But if you want to talk subtle, let's talk serene painting. Look at this thing. I think that's a ferret. In the original and real version, the ferret is clearly white, whereas in the fake version, it's kind of a strange mix match of colors that I don't know if it's possible. Kind of a dark blue and white. But either way, the real version is just straight white, one color. At least we can ease up for a second here the sinking painting which is i think yes the first painting i got in my own uh, art museum there is not a fake version of this one so this lady just sinking into this river hell yeah dude buy that one this next one that's quite subtle is hard to spot for sure because you're so distracted by the very weird looking children i mean look at this girl on the right what's what's going on here the real version has the guy in the background just in the corridor behind them all uh, touching the wall or gripping onto something whereas in the fake version he's kind of pointing or even giving you a thumbs up no thumbs up all right don't buy that one next up we have the twinkling painting very happy to say that there is no fake version of this one so buy it if you see it the warm painting another great one because there is no fake one if you see this lady on her back just doing her thing buy it this one's uh easy to get confused i actually like how they've done this this is actually one painting cut into two so the wild painting has a left half and a right half and they're cut into two pieces it's these strange demons jumping in the air kind of jumping down towards each other or towards the ground for the real painting of the left side it needs to be white skin color for the demon and on the right side you need to have that dark green color i'd like to think you guys are going to spot this next one the wistful painting uh is quite interesting she's wearing a earring in the real one that's i don't know sort of a circular earring that seems realistic and then a fake one someone's just like slapped up png of a star over her earring looks kind of silly when you really look at it finally the worthy painting there is not a fake version of this lady bearing her bosom so buy it for the statues as you may already know things are a little bit harder because the resources for the fake versions are much more limited right now so let me show you what the real ones should look like and then provide information that will help you spot the fakes i'm gonna start with a motherly statue which happens to be this sort of wolf with these human babies uh, suckling away there uh, the fake version has a tongue sticking out in a sort of comical way so just check if there's a tongue sticking out to see whether there's a fake or not the mystic statue actually has i found this one in my game actually has a strange earring quite a large earring on one side when it's fake obviously this real one does not have one for the informative statue or the rosetta stone the fake one is actually blue and this one the real one is white so that should be an easy one to spot for the beautiful statue there is a necklace around the neck here in the fake version in the real one she is not wearing any kind of cosmetic or accessories so that should be another easy one we can see this one quite easily too for the robust statue the fake one is actually wearing a sort of engraved watch on 
on his wrist by the discus. Uh, on the real one, of course, he's not wearing a watch. So check the uh, the disc in the hand. The familiar statue or the thinker is a great one because there isn't a fake one. So buy it up. The valiant statue is going to catch a lot of people. And I'm sorry the information here is bad. But basically the real one looks like this. And the fake one is very off center or angled strangely. But it is very subtle. For the gallant statue, he appears to be holding some sort of cloth or covering his right hand with some sort of cloth in the fake version. The real version, there is no cloth. He's exposed as hell. Another good one for us, the great statue. There isn't a fake one of this beautiful man in his golden robe. So buy this one. This one got me. The rock head statue is so subtle between the real one and the fake one. As you can see, he's just a sort of frowny, angry, big old face. And the fake version, he has a sort of tinge of a slight smile at the end of his lips, which I was desperately trying to look for. It's very subtle. At least this one's a bit easier. The ancient statue, the real version, has a sort of pair of antenna coming out of the side of its head to sort of making it look like a strange bug or alien. Naturally, the original doesn't have anything like that. The warrior statue from the Terracotta Army is actually holding a shovel in the fake version, so just look out for that. It should be straightforward. And finally, the tremendous statue. The real version, as you can see, is just open and exposed, whereas the fake version has a lid on top of it, so just check for a lid. And there you go. That's all 13 statues. I do hope this helps you with discovering whether you've got a fake art piece or not. At least you've equipped now with the correct information and lots of images and resources to refer to should you need to. Good luck with your art gallery. For now, though, I've been Hollow, you've been you, and I'll see you guys next time for more Animal Crossing.